and hello everybody welcome back to a brand new episode of minecraft with yours truly the hermit hood we're back here at our normal base but we were only back here just for a moment when i discovered something um you guys see these two copper ore well they were here at the base i don't know how they spawned here but they shouldn't have been here because these are not the these are not new chunks these are old chunks now i opt when i optimized this world i guess it uh i guess it included those i'm not sure but um we're gonna try to stick with the jungle just for right now uh, i came over here to grab some emeralds so that we can craft something different for today i uh, grabbed a few other things while i was over here well not these but i grabbed these splash potion of weaknesses and stuff and things i was thinking oh we can grab ourselves some villagers and all that stuff while we was over at the jungle but no turns out we had ourselves it turns out we got ores over here as well. I'm not too sure how they're spawning, but apparently we got them spawning. And it's got me a wee bit curious now. Oh my goodness. Get the heck out of here. You little prick. Seriously, where are these creepers coming from? Yeah, there's tin ore. There's new ores in here. They shouldn't be here. I don't know where they're coming from, but they shouldn't be here. You can see that for yourself. There's new ores here. These things should not be here. We lit all of this up before, and we now got ores popped back. Everything that we dug out, all the iron, everything, it's all back. And I don't know how. I'm confused by it. And I don't know. So I guess whenever I optimize the world, it just spawned everything back in. So now we got double ores. <laughs> I don't know how. I really don't care. I guess I got all my diamonds and everything back that I already mined out. But that's not the point. Uh, just <laughs> I don't know how this is even possible, but a, a lot of things are back. I came inside of here. There was some iron ore inside of here. So that's where you see all this iron is from. And yeah, it's just. Everything was just popped back in here. I don't know how it is, but it was here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the jungle, and I'll meet you guys there. And, yeah. I'll meet you guys there. We'll figure out how this happened at another time. Um, I don't know why the ores are here when they shouldn't be, but they are. And we're going to take advantage of that. Okay, we're going to take advantage of that whenever we get done with the... Uh, whenever we get done over with the uh, jungle. But for right now, we got some stuff over at the jungle we want to take care of. Um, I got my emeralds is what I came over here for. And I'll meet you guys back at base. And we're, today, we're actually... The reason I came over here, guys, is because we need to craft this. Um... We need to craft this, uh, those crystal composites. We need two of them, and that'll be for that grinder. That's what we're doing today, guys. We're building that grinder. Um, just toss that thing out. We don't need it. So I'll meet you guys over at the jungle, and yeah, I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So welcome back home. Um, today what we're going to be building is this grinder. All right. Now I already started putting some of the stuff inside of our little bit of a machine up top. I went down below. I grabbed some obsidian 
And I put all this stuff inside of here already because we already have the resources. Last episode, we made this spare tier 2 machine frame. So, just for the record, in case you guys need to learn how to build that thing, it's, let's see here. Because we made this biogenerator last episode. It seems pretty cool. seems pretty resource friendly and we made this uh thing so if you see right there where it says tier two resources that is the machine frame that is four structural ingots five steel ingots and you can see it has the uh structural ingots that's two tin four quartz four things and well you just put all that stuff together inside of this alloy furnace right here and it makes your stuff and things for you now this grinder what it does it it the grinder processes various materials increasing their yield ores converts to two ingots logs convert to six planks can also process certain mob drops such as blaze rods and bones uses 60 kilowatts when upgraded increases further yields all right now what comes after this is the quarry now i'm not too sure about using the uh quarry but we could try it um it what it when it's what it says by breaking any useless blocks and leaving any leaving any ores behind and all other valuables it does not drop the mine blocks um what this means is that it will dig a hole it, it'll, it'll dig an 11 by 11 hole all the way down to bedrock but it'll leave all the ores sitting there in front of your face so you have to go down there and uh cobble up build yourself a pillar from bedrock coming up and just mine everything out and i'm not too sure about that Corey, because it's i mean we'll build it we'll give it a shot we'll try it out but i'm not too sure on that thing because breaking any useless blocks i mean because what that means to me is that what that says to me is that you won't get any cobblestone you won't get any stone you won't get any dirt you won't get any gravel um uh, you won't get anything from it all right the only thing that you're gonna gain is ore. everything else is basically junk to the uh everything else is just basically considered junk to it now there also is an auto farm which will automatically harvest and replant all crops in a harvest seven by seven area around it dropping the harvested crops on top of itself now, it also expands to a 9x9 nine nine area. Now, that right there could be useful. Very useful. This, however, I'm not too sure about. Uh, there's the auto farm. There's a lava fabricator. And that uses all these other blocks and stuff and things. And we, strangely enough, we already have all of the material for that. And it's all sitting back at our spawn. <laughs> and if i have to go back there for it i'll go back there off camera and grab it there's the item reformer and as far as those bottles of xp goes we can build those i'm not going to build all this stuff in today's episode what i'm going to build today is the grinder and we need to build those two crystals okay so to build those two crystals we need two diamonds well we need four diamonds four emeralds so let's go ahead let's put those inside of here four diamonds four emeralds so let's go ahead let's get one of these going like so let's say let's see here all right here's our four emeralds let's get our four diamonds where does all that all right our one two three four all right let's put these inside of there and now we're going to need some redstone and it says it takes 16, so I'm thinking a total of 32 should work out just fine. A little bit more than that. There we go. See, a Fortune 3 goes a long way early game. And that's one of the reasons. There we go. And here goes our little bit of a noisy noise. Get our crystal composites going. 
Now, as that does the crystal composite, I actually want us to stop and take a look at something, okay? Um, I'm going to switch through this stuff, and there's there's the super sticky t piston. All right, there's the chunk loader, the teleporter, the disenchanter, the tier three resources, the spawner mover, and that right there, guys, is something I'm actually going to love. The spawner mover. Because remember a while ago we found that zombie spawner? Well, guess what? We can finally move that thing and make a nice good spawn room for it. I don't need a silk touch to move my spawner when I got this. And that should come in handy. Now, also, there's... Those are your tier 3 resources. We're just going to skip through that stuff just for right now. There's your nuclear resources, centrifuge... The cooling units. It's it's going to take you through a lot of this stuff. Now here's your echo locators. Gadgets. You can make an XP tank. A tin, copper, and structural armor. Alright. So. What I actually want to look at is this copper armor. Okay. Slightly less armor than iron. But has extra armor toughness. Not bad. Alright. There's tin armor you can make. There's steel armor you Slightly less armor than, than diamond, but gains extra armor toughness. Sounds pretty good. Structural armor. Slightly less armor than diamond, but has 50% more durability. Now these are your conductive tools. They are as fast as golden tools, but with the durability of iron. Which means that... Uh, they have 250 durability, and you can mine your diamonds and everything with them. Um, should be good for, like, mining diamonds and everything with them. Not half bad. Um, whoa, wait a second. Your crystal tools are similar to diamond, but with a twist. They come pre-enchanting with looting 5 or fortune 5, respectively. However, they are very brittle and only have a 16 durability. Cannot be repaired in the item reformer. Which means I'm curious if they can be repaired in the... Uh, I'm curious if they can be repaired in that anvil over there inside the house. So, let's go ahead. Let's get back to this stuff. There's portable power also. All kinds of stuff and things. But let's skip back to what we're here for today. Alright? Let's just, eh, close the book out for right now. And let's make this... Let's grab our other crystal out of here. And let's put this thing inside of here. And let's grab our grinder. More for the dollar, baby. Dollar, dollar bill, baby. All right, yeah. Now, this is our grinder. All right, so we also got a furnace generator and an electric furnace. Now, the electric furnace, what will it take to turn it into a tier two? Okay, because if we have a grinder, what will it take to turn the uh, furnace into a tier two? Okay, that's my curiosity. So let me dig through this book and see if there's a way to turn that into a tier two. I'm going to take a nap on this and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we took a nap and we had ourselves a little dream and we found ourselves this thing called a machine upgrade. Now, the machine upgrade is something that we won't be able to craft for a long time. It requires resources from both the nether and the end. The end of which is someplace which we have yet to be to. And as far as that red, 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 red ingot, I don't know what that is. Not just yet. So, let's go ahead. These are the tier 2 resources. And I want to skip ahead for a moment. And let's look at the tier 3 resources. Alloy furnace. Ah, and there it is. It requires some type of purple block. Some type of nether alloy. Requires nether brick. Some type of purple block. Titanium. Steel, all right, so it requires four titanium, which we got, another star, and another brick, which gives you another alloy. And then you need the uh, purple, 
stuff. You need Ender Breath, the breath of a dragon, to make Ender Alloy. Ooh, so that's what you need for that. Then there's the superconductive alloy, the reinforced structural alloy, and the titanium steel. Hmm, we got a ways to go. We have a ways to go. And if you guys remember, okay, so I was showing you guys also, we got this mob grinder will kill any non-boss mob in a nine-block radius. Okay, so if we could get this and also grab our spawner from the nether, okay, guys, I think we could have ourselves some fun. But for right now, this thing right here, this grinder... What I am most curious about, okay, is I want to grab two things. Okay, first off, I want another electric furnace, okay? So we're going to go ahead and craft one of these things up. And let's see here, what do we need for that? Eh, right, there it is. All right, so we need a tier two... A uh, tier one machine frame, which is tin and some copper and all that other stuff and thingies. So let me go ahead and get this electric furnace. I want to try to see if I can do something here, guys, with some hoppers and stuff and things. So let me go ahead and build this, and we're going to try some stuff and things out. All right, we got our tier one machine frame. Let's put that right there. Let's get ourselves that furnace. I know we got a ton of these things sitting around. All right, we're gonna go ahead and shove this thing inside of here like so. Let's go ahead, let's get ourselves a wee bit of copper up out of here like so, uh-huh. Up, oh, yep, 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 yep. All right, what is that? One, two, one, two, uh-huh, uh-huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see here. And it, 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 and yeah. And the rest is a little bit of redstone. Let's see here, uh-huh. Boom, boom. All right. Yeah, I know you guys are there. <laughs> all right. And the rest is all iron. Speaking of iron, we got some right here in our inventory. Boop, boop. Bada bing, bada boom. All right. And now that is two. All right. Let's see here. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And electric. All right. That is our electric furnace. All right. So what I want to check out, guys, is this. All right. So. All right. Get that out of my hand just for a moment. We need a couple of hoppers. So we need some wood. All right. Let's get ourselves some hoppers going here. We don't need that. We need this. We need this. Let's click on redstone hoppers two. Oh, for goodness sakes, just give me it. All right. Thank you. All right. So let's try to set this up. All right. So what I want to do is I want to set up right here, all right, on this corner pot right here. I want to take this. I want to set this thing up right here. Now we're going to set the grinder up on top of this. That's the electric furnace. All right, so the electric furnace is going to go up right on top of this right here. All right. And now that that thing's on top of that, I want the hopper to go into it. And from the hopper, I want the grinder. So we might have to tear that thing out. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. We just need ourselves some blocks. This ought to work. All right, let's get up here. All right, and we're going to take the grinder, and we're going to, whoops, get up here, shove the grinder right there, okay, and now we need another hopper in a chest, all 
All right, so let's go ahead and let's do this. One more hopper, one more chest. All right, we got the chest. All right, we just need one more chest. All right, let's get that other chesticle going so that we can make our hopper. There we go. So let's grab this. Let's grab that. And let's get over here and let's see if this thing can go in. Oh, no. Um... Glad that didn't go into the nether. Alright, let's see if we can put that right there. Now, I do got these copper ores. I want to see if this will do anything at all. Wait. <laughs> Okay, so that doesn't need anything in it. All right, what about um, cop? What about cobblestone? Can we put cobblestone inside of it? Okay. Can we put cobblestone inside of this thing? Let's wait and find out. And it makes sand. And we have an automatic glass. <laughs> All right, I gotta take a, I gotta take a nap. We got automatic glass, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> this is awesome. So we could put cobblestone in there. We get glass. We get sand. We get. What else do we get? So if we fill this thing up with cobblestone, it'll make sand, which in turn will make glass, and all that glass will just go inside of here. Oh, I can go with that. Oh, hex yeah. We can go with that. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. We can just load this thing up with cobblestone. That should work out, and we get ourselves plenty of glass from that. Now, if it gives off... That's pretty cool. All right, so we got an automatic glass factory going on right there. That's interesting. Okay, so that thing comes in handy for multiple things. Um, I like it. All right, so we just made ourselves an automatic glass factory out of that thing. <laughs> um... I like that thing a lot. That grinder is pretty interesting. It can give us multiple ores, but at the same time, it can do that thing. And I like it. I like it a lot. Now, if we can get an auto farmer going, which we build next episode, we can have it automatically harvest this. And all that stuff will go right directly into this. Basically, wirelessly. I like it. I like it a lot. What I won't let it do is harvest my pumpkins and harvest and put it in there. Okay? Because I like my pumpkin pie. It won't get my pumpkin pie. We'll turn this into a 9x9, nine nine, let it do its thing, put it all inside of here, and we're good. I was just going to make this into an automatic farm, but uh, that'll work too. You ain't get my pumpkins. Here, I'll give you melons. Here, I'll give you melons. You can't have my pumpkin pie, but I'll give you melons. All right. Here, we'll give it melons. He can't have my pumpkin pie, but I'll give him melons. Okay, we'll give him melons. Oh, that's right. This thing can't use... Can, can it use it? Let's just find out. Let's wait and see.
We don't know if it can use it or not yet. Yes, it can use them. It can use melon slices. And if we get an auto harvester going for that right over there. Oh, that thing is noisy. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Automatic glass factory. <laughs> Take care. Have yourself a wonderful day. This is the friendly neighbor of the Hermit Hood signing off. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm out of here. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this. Next episode, guys. Next episode. What comes next? Let's build the quarry. Um, not too sure how this thing will work out, but we do have the materials for it. And we'll take a look at this auto farm as well. Um, yeah. In the auto farm... Um... We need to be where we might have to hook it up with a hopper system so that it could harvest everything up, pick it up, maybe with a real cart and put it over here inside of that. I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.